boat trailer project is on hold. And I'll tell you why. Bad truck. Bad truck. Cranked up yesterday afternoon to run up to the store. Very, very hard to crank, which was odd. Ran for a few minutes and quit. As soon as it quit, I noticed the fuel gauge said bing all the way over past full. Never done that before. University of YouTube and a good friend of mine that has a truck almost like that agree that the fuel pump quit. Now, of course, fuel uh, pump is inside the tank. The tank is almost full, which means there's absolutely no way I can drop the tank. So once again, talk to my friend that did his not long ago. There is a way that you can cut a hole in the bed of the truck and get to the fuel tank where the pump is without a whole lot of trouble. And that's what I'm going to do. Because I hadn't checked with the shop, of course, because yesterday was Sunday. But I know it's going to be more than I can pay. So I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to double check all the measurements and all that just to make sure. Uh, Master Sergeant coming over tomorrow to help me get the camper shell off and the bed liner. It's got a plastic bed liner in it. Get that out. And when I get to that point... I'll show you all the whole process. Maybe I won't blow myself up. But if you remember a while back, I've developed a little leak in the back glass, so the shell's got to come off anyway so I can get to it. The shell needs a little bit of work if I even put it back on. I may put my toolbox back on there and be done with it. But uh, we'll see. And so today, I am going to be without any way to go. So my post office run, I'll have to wait till in the morning. Because Mama's got to leave here in a few minutes. And so today, I'm going to finish up some knives. I've got four that I need to finish today, if possible. And then I've got a couple more lined up for this week. Orders have been scarce here lately. Y'all remember hunting season coming up. So don't, and Christmas is coming. Don't swamp me. It's uh, three weeks before Christmas. <laughs> that has happened before. Anyway, I'll show you all some knives after a while. I've been out the shop for a few minutes, but I'll just wait for it to get a little daylight. I'll see you all after and a while. And the hits just keep on coming. Let's put on our happy faces. My belt grinder down there, <coughs> excuse me, something has happened and this going to have to be fixed again, but it's still sort of running, so I'm going to take the old one for a spare. When it went down, I didn't ever fix it, so I'm fixing it now. I had this little piece here broke on me. So I'm having to fabricate one. Got it, just about got it ready. I hope it works. If it don't, <clears throat> I'm going to have to invest in some new tools. Which I'm going to have to do anyway eventually. But Let's hope this will work. I modified this end of it. Now I'm modifying the tracking end of it. Replacing that broke piece. I will have a finished knife today. I guarantee you. If I'm out here till midnight, I'll have a finished one. <laughs> when something's wore out, it's wore out. This was the third time to try to fix this one. Just ain't gonna happen this time. So, I'll put this one away. At least the motor still runs. I'll run the other one till it quits, and then we'll worry about it then. I've got to get some handles on some knives. Got a box, I got a box, I got a box. I saw the mail lady drive up in the yard, and I know what this is. Let's take a gander. 
Now this is going to be something very, very nice, especially for Christmas time. Got an idea how I'm going to do some cheese out of these. Look at this. These are rattlesnake skins. They have been tanned, preserved, however you want to call it. Very, very nice. These scale and everything. Now these will be some knife sheaths, but they're going to be a little bit different sheaths than I've made before. I'm going to do an inlay type thing. I've been watching the University of YouTube and I know, think I know how to do it. There's another one. Very, very, very nice. Very nice, pliable too. A lot of times I'll get a snake skin that's real dry. That's the stuff right there. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is a trade. A J. Nell Skinner and a fillet knife that I should have done hopefully, hopefully by the end of the week. Once I get these done, those just fixing the gun blue the blades. Got them out of heat treat, got them out of temper and oven, got them polished off. Let's see, let me wrap these back up. Had a visit from my friend Eric earlier today. Always good to see Eric. We had a nice conversation and some talk. And about the time he come in, I was just about ready to get the big hammer after that that sander I was working on. But no sense in getting mad about it. It served its purpose, and that was one of the cheap harbor freight tools. So I've got a decision to make on. Which one I'm going to get next? The one I want is out of reach, especially right now with the truck broke down. So I'll figure out something. Thank you very much. Very, very nice stuff. I will, well, by the time you see this, I'll send you an email and let you know I got it. Alright. I'm telling you, I'm going to have some of these knives done today. I'll show you in a little bit. Well, I guess I told you all the story. I'm not going to have a finished knife today. But I'll have one sometime in the morning. Uh, 12 hours is enough. Waiting on the epoxy to dry. And there goes the speed demon. And I will see y'all tomorrow with something else. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. That's the one that runs around here all hours of the night. But, uh, oh well. <laughs> see you later. I think we have avoided disaster. I thought the fuel pump was gone. I uh, got in here this morning, me and Matt Sergeant took the, the shell off, took the bed liner off. I was all ready to cut a hole in the bed. Speaking of the bed, look at that. This is a 95 model truck, and look how clean that thing is. I could wax that if I wanted to. But uh, I was ready to cut a hole in there with a 
fuel pump goes when you get to the tank. But I talked to my buddy Scott and uh, the wife's boss up at the bakery, Eric. He rebuilds old cars and antique cars and all this stuff. Knows a lot about cars and they both told me the same thing. That there's a ground wire that goes up that I'll attach attaches to with the uh, yeah the thermostat housing, and that ground wire controls and that grounds the fuel system. And I took it off. Sure enough, it was all corroded. Was not getting a connection. I cleaned it up real good. Put it all back together. Hit the key. Fired right up. And the same two guys told me also if the fuel pump is gone, it's gone. It won't just come back to life. So uh, I think that was the only problem. And I already had the connectors to I put new con connectors on it. So I think we're going to be okay. So now we're going to put the bed liner back in. Uh, I do believe it was put in there when the truck was brand new. And I'm not going to put the shell back on right now because I really want a different shell than that. So I'll just wait till I come across one. I'm going to put the liner back on there and I'm going to put my toolbox back on there, which is behind the shop. It's been back there for years. Put that back on there. And we'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. He's beating on my truck with a hammer. But uh, anyway, the back glass, <laughs> I washed it. You could not see out of it before. So, uh, there ain't no glass in there. <laughs> it's clean. <laughs> and I had the old hunting camp sticker on there that uh, my idiot cousins, I guess they still have it, I don't know or not, but I took it off because I don't want to be associated with their hunting camp anymore. And I'm sure they'll be happy about that too. That was rude, wasn't it? No, yeah. it wasn't rude. But anyway. It was the truth. Yeah, that's the truth. Anyway. Anyway, we got a big thunderhead coming up, so we're gonna set this in there and back around back with the toolboxes and get that put in there and show you what it looks like here in a little bit. I'm just so far I don't think I gotta replace the fuel pump, so that's a good thing. A very good thing. Alright, there it is. Bed liner back in. The old toolbox on. It needs washing, but we'll handle that later. I lost the somewhere or another the little pieces that cover that. But oh well. And when I pulled around back, got a magnetic mount CB antenna. Of course, it fell off, and I ran over it, and it ripped it in half. So there we go. No CB for right now. But that's all right. I'll fix that. I can put it back together, I think. And I asked Master Sergeant if he wanted to help me take this great big piece of metal here and tow it around back in this big lightning that we're getting. And he didn't want to. What y'all think about that? I think he's scared. But, uh, <laughs> I hear a fire truck up to the north. So. Somebody scared the thunder, I guess. All right, speaking of lightning and thunder, I better get my butt inside. I'll do that, and I did not get a whole lot on knives done today, but I'm not worried about the truck now. I'm confident that it's fixed, so we'll get to going in the morning, and I'll show you all some progress. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support, as always. And I will see y'all later.